For nearly 20 years, Roman Abramovich has showered Chelsea with money and been repaid in silverware. But now the ultimate trophy asset is for sale, a scrutiny of the source of his vast wealth and the threat of government sanctions against a one-time ally of Vladimir Putin grow. There are football clubs become very successful and admired under his ownership, but obviously in the end, those alleged links with Vladimir Putin, the war on Ukraine, have brought it to an end. I think that things have been closing in on him for a few years now, um, and I think it's obviously come to a head in the last week. European governments want to create a hostile environment for Putin's allies, and while Abramovich denies political influence, just four days after planning to pass the club to charity, he's saying goodbye for good. Chelsea is the ultimate symbol of the spending power of Russia's oligarch class, but if Roman Abramovich is scrambling to sell up here, then other lower-profile alleged allies of Vladimir Putin will be too. And there are concerns the British government is moving too slowly to stop them moving their money out of reach. Ministers are considering emergency legislation to speed up sanctions. We have sanctioned Russian oligarchs and Russian organisations. We've also gone further than many others in banning vessels, uh, Russian vessels, from our ports, uh, in closing airspace uh, to Russian aeroplanes, and we will continue to sanction oligarchs as we build the evidence case to do so. Now added to the British list, Uzbek billionaire Alicia Usmanov, until this week a sponsor of Everton and a former shareholder in Arsenal. He owns this North London house valued at £48 million and a yacht on the left here that the German authorities are considering seizing. The UK has now sanctioned 13 individuals since the invasion began a week ago. That's half the 26 targeted by EU action. And Britain is accused of creating a loophole for customers of Russia's second biggest bank, VTB, who have 30 days to act before their assets are frozen. There are reports of a rush to sell London property assets too as the net tightens. There is concern that the delays um, have permitted um, some people who think they're going to be sanctioned um, to transfer money from bank accounts they might have uh, in this jurisdiction elsewhere. That assumes, of course, they can find somewhere and someone who will willingly receive their funds. Also added to the UK list, former Russian Deputy Prime Minister Igor Shuvalov said to own apartments in this Westminster block, no longer welcome, so close to the seat of power. Paul Kelso, Sky News.